Today is October 31st. My name is Tim Stout with My Brokerage and I am going to break down the Coweta County real estate market for October 2023. So we're gonna start off with our active listings. Uh, so far we have 519 active listings at the moment, which is quite high considering what we have been seeing over the last couple of years. We have 220 homes under contract. Uh, we have sold 144 homes in the last 30 days. The highest price sale was 1.5 million, and the lowest price sale was 43,000. The uh, the 1.5 million was a 38 acre horse farm. So I've got some uh, year over year market trends that I wanted to discuss. Uh, one thing is uh, the new listings. The new listings are down 9.4 percent. Uh, like I said, the new listings we've had. Uh, what is it? Uh, 279 new listings and 308 last year. So we're down 9.4, which ain't a big deal. The big deal is pending sales. So these are, when a pending sale is a house that is listed for sale that gets a contract on it that second. It could close, it could not close, but it's active at that second. That one is down 39% and, and that, is, that, is, that is huge. Last 12, uh, Last 12 months, averaging for October, 171 pending. And then we had 284 for the year before. Down 39%, that's a, that's a big deal. Uh, closed units. Closed units is down 33%. So we're uh, closed to 203 uh, this month, 306 last month. So down 33%, that's, that's a huge one. Uh, total sales volume, of course it's going to be down because the amount of of homes sold were down, but they were 85 million uh, last year and 114 the year before. That's down 25, uh, 25%. Uh, the average sales price is actually up, up 12%. So the average sales price is 419 now, and it was 373 a year ago. So average sales price is up. So we're still seeing appreciation, but what is slowing down this market is, is uh, the, the inflation and the interest rates. The, when inflation hit, it blew up the interest rate. You know, that's how they're trying to correct it. And the interest rates have really slowed everything down. Active, looking at my, my data, uh, active listings are up 16%. And average days on market, which is huge, is up 52%. So average days on market now is about 35 days. It was 23, so that's a 52% increase according to according to my data. So that's because the interest rates, with interest rates going up, there's less buyers in the market because we haven't seen inventory go high enough to, to affect uh, home prices yet. I mean, to be honest, because we don't, we don't have the inventory. So we're still under inventory. So people coming into the market that are able to buy are still paying that top price. And we're not going to see a difference in prices until inventory continues to increase and people refuse to pay for it. But right now people are still paying for it. So prices are still increasing. Interest rates are just taking the amount of available buyers out of there. Uh, it was one foreclosure last year. So we're down 100% foreclosures, but that's because of one last year in October, none this year. Uh, so that's all my data. So, so with my synopsis is uh, interest rates going high, it's slowing down the real estate market. Uh, not a lot of buyers can afford Average price in Coweta County is in the low 400s, so not everybody can afford that, especially at 8%. The ones who can are buying, the ones who can't are waiting. Uh, right now, guys, it's really important that if you're in the real estate market is that you trust the professional. Uh, last couple of years, you know, a lot of people getting into the market, a lot of real estate agents getting into the market, a lot of people using them because they're your friends. Everybody was writing overpriced offers and because it was working. Now. A bad agent can cost you thousands and thousands of dollars. So now more than ever, who you work with matters. I appreciate you. Hope you have a great day. And remember, who you work with matters. And have a great day.